Hello, 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 hello to all of my wonderful friends across this big, vast world tonight. I am here just relaxing and having a good time after a marvelous day. Did a lot of good videos uh, for YouTube and, uh, and did, did, had a lot of activities, got out, ran two miles, uh, uh, did a lot of walking and, and uh, going places, uh, probably walked 10 miles and, and uh, got out and, and did bike riding for exercise and hiked, got out and hiked in the woods and ran with the dog, took the dog a lot of different places in the woods and did some hunting and uh, with lot, lots of wonderful activities uh, that I engaged in today and it's got me feeling just so wonderful but I'm realizing that I'm raising my consciousness and as I get out and exercise that helps get that fresh air going and I begin to think about how wonderful and marvelous this world is. I begin to breathe in all of that wonderful air and think about how God has created all of this and given us such a marvelous world to live in. And I just begin to want to raise my consciousness where I can love more people and have more peace and happiness in my life and uh, begin to... Uh, Heal more people to really be the healer that we were called to be and that we were meant to be. You see, that's one of the things that people don't realize is that we were sent here to this earth to be great healers of people and to, to, and to shed abroad the love, that love which was demonstrated by Jesus when he died for us and all the marvelous things he did. He spent every minute of his day and during his ministry, uh, healing people and raising people out of depression and raising people out of fear, giving them a, a, a purpose in life and, and uh, teaching them how to live the abundant life, uh, telling them that they could do greater things uh, uh, even than what he did. Uh, and he uh, uh, constantly stressed that he had come to give them the same joy that he had the same sense of consciousness which he had, the same peace which he had, the same love which he had. And we want to raise our consciousness today to have that, and then we can do those greater things uh, and those marvelous things ourselves. Uh, and uh, uh, tonight I want to shout out Marta Laura Zayas and encourage you to watch her channel. Uh, and also, I want to say hello to Jim54. I encourage you to watch his channel. He has some good music and some demonstrations of uh, and and of his page. He has uh, videos of all of it, some of his pets and things like that that are so marvelous. And uh, you have to put in a uh, Jim and then 54. I I failed to mention the 54 on the last video, uh, but uh, Marta Laura Zayas has a marvelous attitude and a marvel and a cheerful smile every time she comes on her channel a very attractive lady does a, a marvelous job and also has a great variety on her channel which is what is great it's something for everybody uh, men women people of all ages she shows uh, le uh, demonstrates all kinds of electronic devices that helps you in your house and in your car and everything for your house and your car uh, and uh, also gets around to beauty products showing all kinds of beauty products demonstrating how they work uh, putting on the makeup and things like that and then also she uh, uh, demonstrates nutritional products health food products gives ideas on how to lose weight gives ideas on uh, on uh, how to uh, have a healthy life by taking a uh, by uh, eating right and eating eating correctly at the proper time and eating the right foods. It demonstrates those foods. She does everything but actually uh, cooking gourmet meals, but she'll probably do that for too long, too, uh, and uh, because she covers everything, and I mean everything. And uh, so it's a marvelous channel. And then also she always comes on there uh, the same way I do. It cheers you up to, to begin with. Uh, t tells you what a wonderful day it is and encourages you to be happy and cheerful. And it's just a marvelous thing to listen to. You get cheered up and then you get the, the, uh, the uh, wonderful products demonstrated or you get to see uh, how beauty products work. 
and all of these marvelous things. So I encourage you to tune in to, in to her channel. And I uh, am here uh, just after a marvelous day, just raising my consciousness higher and higher. I'm all, I, I get here and I meditate. I close my eyes and I meditate and I think about things and I uh, have a period of reflection and I allow those wonderful truths to come to the front of our mind. You see, we have those in the back of our mind. We actually know that we were created in the image of God and that God is a harmonious God, a perfect God, and therefore uh, any illness or disease that we may have, that uh, is out of harmony. And that's just like a note in a symphony that's out of harmony. It is out of harmony with the true nature of God and what he really intends for us to be. And it's out of harmony with uh, the image which he actually created us in and is encouraging us to move toward. And so uh, uh, tonight I just uh, I want to remind you of all the marvelous things which we have to look forward to when we do raise our consciousness. Of all the joy and the happiness and the abundance, we can get ourselves into a place where we have so much energy that we can create anything that we want to create. We can write music, we can paint paintings, we can build buildings, we can get to the point where uh, we can invent things and, and we can engineer things, we can do research and discover things, we can uh, go to uh, the university and take whatever courses we want, become whoever we want to be, uh, run for political office, we can do all these things. We, we gain such a sense of energy and dominion that we just choose our own lifestyle. I mean, we can just choose our own lifestyle. I'm serious about that. We choose our own lifestyle. However we want to live, we can live. Uh, we, uh, we can uh, be what we want to be, have what we want to have. And uh, this is all. This comes all comes from all of that uh, flexibility and stress-free uh, nature of our mind that we gain from these exercises of raising our consciousness, and all of the uh, elasticity and stamina which we gain, and energy that which we gain. And I can't overstress that that we gain great energy and great stamina and a great sense of health and harmony. And we're just to uh, go about rejoicing uh, about how that we now see how harmonious this world actually is and how that we had been looking through glasses of illusion. Just like as if, if my glasses here was covered with a fog. That's what we've been looking through. We've been looking through a fog and we've been, been seeing the, all of these illusions uh, that God uh, wants us to be sick or that God uh, doesn't care that we're sick or that or that he's uh, that, or that if we turn to him in the proper way and reach toward him in the right way, we won't be healed. We're looking through all of this and we've been educated all, all this, but we've got to go back and realize that we are created in the image of God and that there is no disease or illness which we cannot be delivered from. And, uh, we want to have, you hear people say, well, I would like to live to be 100, 110 years old, but uh, I don't want to do that because I know that I wouldn't have the quality of life, you know. Uh, you know, and so uh, they'll say, well, once my quality of life runs out, I'd, I'd rather go ahead and, 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 and transition, you know, to the next stage. Uh, but what they don't realize is that is it within our hands to control the quality which we have and the length of our life and all of these things uh, you know it's god puts all of this in our control he said i have given you dominion over all the earth dominion over anything that will create illness uh anything and, and when it comes to aging uh and uh living a long time and and getting, uh, as people, some people say, getting old and uh, getting de uh, a sense of senility, senility or decrepitude or corrupting of the body. Uh, all of these things like this are absolutely unnecessary. And uh, when it comes to all of those things, those things are either the one disease or a multiple of diseases. It's a multiple, multiplication of diseases which have built up 
over the years. And so it's the same thing. It's illness and disease. And the, and the illness and disease builds up and creates the uh, corrupting of the body and the decrepitude which we begin to uh, uh, get into and the crippled nature and all, all the rest of it comes from that multiplication of those diseases which we could have been one at a time healed of or actually prevented. That's the great thing about it. When we raise our consciousness, we prevent so many diseases, you know, especially if a young person can begin early uh, thinking uh, correctly and uh, opposing illness and realizing they don't have to have it and uh, beginning to meditate on these things, they can avoid all those illnesses which will come down through the years uh, in their 40s and their 50s and so on. And, uh, and we gain the power, great power to overcome every kind of bad habit like smoking or drinking or, or any of these kinds of things that would harm us, we, we have the power. I mean, it's not as if we're turning down something we, do, we enjoy, but we have great power to uh, o overcome those, and we have great joy and strength in overcoming them, and we have something that replaces that with something hundreds and thousands of times greater. And so we're able to throw down every bad habit we're able to throw down everything which will take uh, would take away our energy and everything and our sleep becomes sound uh, we don't have to get quite as much of it but what we get will be sound and gentle and wonderful even our dreams become peaceful that's what amazes me how my dreams just become peaceful and wonderful and glorious and no such thing as any kind of fearful dream or anything and we totally overcome fear we don't fear one single thing and we certainly don't fear any illness or disease if anything if we feel like anything's coming on you see uh, people that, that begin to fear then they bring on greater stress to their body and they drive themselves into the illness well we have that strength and we're over we have overcome fear so we look at that disease that uh, illness is coming on in the face and we say i will have no part of you and i know that i'm in uh created the image of god i have dominion over you i have dominion over any kind of thing which uh would uh cause the illness i have dominion over that because i have dominion over everything on the earth and so we get into a position where we're wonderfully healthy and our body just does not Again, this does not deteriorate, and we live to be a ripe old age with no deterioration. Our hair doesn't get gray. Our, uh, we don't get uh, all that uh, wrinkled up or anything, you know, especially if we start early enough. And uh, uh, there, we know that uh, the scientists even will tell us, the doctors and everything will tell us that the body recreates itself. You know, there are... Uh, there is a, a discrepancy on, on what they believe is the number of years or the number of months, anywhere from 11 months to seven years. If they say, I, I think it, you know, originally it was seven years. But if we begin now uh, with these thoughts in seven years, we're going to have a totally new body. And that new body will be the results of what we are thinking right now. So think thoughts of youth. That's what I'm encouraging tonight to do, to always think youth. I am young, I am powerful, I am strong, I am vital. And uh, that's the reason why I just get out and I don't even think about it. I just run two miles and have fun with it. And I've got to worry it don't even bother me. You know, and, and, and I'm middle-aged, but I can run two miles without it even bothering me because I think youthful thought. I am young. I just like, a, you know, a young person in their 20s runs two miles. I can run two miles and I can do all of those things. I can hike miles in the woods i can do anything uh, and uh i think youthful thoughts constantly always think don't celebrate birthday i don't think celebrate birthdays at all <laughs> you know i can give plenty of gifts to friends uh, all through the year uh i don't think about uh, uh the days that are going by i live in the now every moment is precious i, I am youthful uh, young in the now I'm young today, 
And then when tomorrow comes, I'll be young tomorrow. And so you keep thinking about all these thoughts, and I'll get back to on a video tomorrow. We'll continue all this. It is a marvelous thing, and I thank you for tuning in, and we'll have a good